You know what I'm tired of seeing? I'm tired of seeing creative people with masks. Creative masks. In a city of artists, there are so many artistic masks coming out I could throw up. My friend Michael, Mistress Ortega for Mica, comes up with these beautiful, gorgeous masks. And I'm sure my dear friend Miss Guy of the Toilet Boys comes up with beautiful masks. Why? They're very creative people. So there's nothing to do. Let's come up with a cool mask. So let me tell you something. Look at my mask. All right, motherfuckers, this is from Bald Vinny from the Bronx, the man who ran the bleacher creatures. He sat out with 250 people in the bleachers and yelled everybody's name until they acknowledged the bleacher creatures in right field. Like they would yo, Derek Jeter, bum, 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 bum. Derek Jeter, bum, bum. and they would do it forever until he acknowledged them. It just could be a wave, it could be a tip of the cap. They went around the whole field till everybody acknowledged the bleacher creatures. This guy makes amazing t-shirts. It's like, you know how South Park, if something happens in the news that's heavy, they jump on it the next week, they're on it. I love those guys. Showed up at the Oscars in dresses, I love them. The way they are on top of things, that's how bald Vinny is. Something happens in Yankee world or in baseball or with the Red Sox, he's got shirts, Hats, stuff, support bald Vinny. Look at this. Look at this. And Jay got one too. Jay got a different one with the NY. This is the coolest mask in New York. You're all jealous, mofos. All right, so that's that. Also, I heard news that, uh, that the virus did not come out of that province in China. But it came out of gay activity on the West Side Highway. That's where it started. That's what I heard, for real. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I can kid, can't I? Some of my best friends are gay. Hey, if you want to listen to my podcast, it's You Don't Know Dick. And I had on the beautiful Heather Latier, quite the beautiful fag hag that she is. No, really, I mean, she's like an Anne Margaret type of beauty. I mean, she's she got this tiny little nose and, uh, you know, just like guys, Jews like us from New York love shicks and goddesses like that. Tiny little features, beautiful face. You know, and I've known her since she's a teenager and she really is stayed beautiful. She has stayed beautiful. The show you might want to watch with Formica and Miss Guy is called Some of... Some of my best friends are gay. And I thought that was a funny title. You Don't Know Dick can be found wherever fine podcasts are presented for your listening and watching pleasure. If you would like to donate to You Don't Know Dick because, only because, not just because give me money, because you like it, think it's funny, think it's charming, if you get an entertainment value, an actual value out of it. I'm not a TV guy. I'm not a TV guy saying, give me $14.95 a month for Netflix. I'm a DIY guy. Look, see my couch? I'm selling posters. Look, I'm selling photos and posters. Look, this is my fucking couch. And this is like one eighth of what I have left. So if you listen to my podcast and you like it and say, you know what? I like this fucking guy. I'm going to keep him in my pocket. I'm going to keep him in my cell phone so I could listen to what he's doing. You don't like one show, maybe you like the next. That's good value because you know how much I'm asking for? If you're rich, five to ten dollars a month. If you're poor, one, two, or three dollars a month. Now one dollar a month is a quarter a week. Two dollars a month, watch how good I am at math. <laughs> Fifty cents a week. Three dollars a month, seventy-five cents a week. For a year. Twelve dollars a year. Twelve dollars a year it's fucking three bites of sushi, you cheap fucks. Support Manitoba. DIY. Doing it myself. Y'all stay well. Y'all be healthy. And y'all get a cool mask like the greatest entertainer in the world. Handsome Dick Manitoba.